Between uh, President Trump and Kim Jong-un, back on. Yeah, President Trump announced this afternoon he will meet the North Korean leader on June 12th in Singapore. Omar Jimenez has more on the back and forth over this historic meeting. We'll be uh, meeting on June 12th in Singapore. The summit with North Korea is now set to go on as scheduled. The announcement from President Trump comes on the back end of the highest level meeting between a North Korean official and U.S. president in close to two decades. North Korea's former spy chief Kim Yong-chol was at the White House Friday meeting with President Trump in the Oval Office to deliver a note from Kim Jong-un himself. This was a letter presentation that ended up being a two-hour conversation. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo has been meeting with the North Korean delegation and says they've been making progress, especially during their time in the U.S. together over the past 72 hours. I believe they are contemplating a path forward where they can make a strategic shift, one that their country has not been prepared to make before. This summit wasn't always supposed to happen. President Trump had previously announced it would take place on June 12th, but after North Korean officials threatened a nuclear showdown and slammed Vice President Mike Pence, Trump canceled the event. Now it's back on, and President Trump says it's only the beginning. We're not going to go in and sign something on June 12th. We never were. We're going to start a process. We're going to make sure when this is over, it's over. It's not going to be starting up again. Pompeo says the administration wants the complete, verifiable, irreversible denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. In Washington, I'm Omar Jimenez.